Hello friends, this is Ramana. Today I will show demo on count of emails of a particular domain in a, in a table. At the same time, how can we extract the distinct emails in a table? So without wasting your time, let's jump into the demo. This is my one table called mail data. It contains ID, first name, last name, email and currency. So distinct e e emails in, the, in this table are 444. First, before getting to know the either count or distinct, first we need to extract the domain name, domain names of the table. So how can we get extract the do domain so i am using this uh, write function here email write email comma write function <coughs> two operators two arguments one is expression and the second one is integer expression he is here is email integer i am taking the len of the email as integer len of the email len function returns also integer so we need to subtract the email from len of email to care index care index what care index will do it will search for the particular character in a string so i am searching here for at in email so i am deducting the care index at function email from total len of email so from table name mail data so i am giving the alias, alias name as domain name domain name so if you run this query you will get all domain names here See here yeah this is the e email address and in this email address e e yahoo is the e yahoo.com is the domain name so i want to know how many distinct domain names are in the table so for that we use the di distinct keyword to get the uh, unique result so i am using the distinct key keyword here distinct and i am taking whole expression inside the distinct class so if you run this code we will get distinct emails distinct domain name sorry distinct domain name so these are the distinct domain name 289 distinct email address we have in the table is 444 out of that distinct domain names contains 289 so now we need to extract count of email so how can we get the count of emails i am taking the same function here i am removing the distinct class distinct class at the end i am removing the to get the count to get the count we use the um, aggregate function count count star count of star so if you use the um, count we are mandatorily to use the group by class group by i am selecting the whole whole expression in group by so we cannot use the uh, alias name in group by please remember we, we cannot use the uh, alias name in, in, in group by alias only works in select statement not in group by now if you run the query you can get the for each domain name how many emails are there we can know number of emails i am giving the alias name here as number of emails and i am giving the order by class here order by order by one des des means descending order of the one one here is there count column is descending order so mysql domain name has six number of emails nih uh, dot gov has four number of emails like that like, like that we are getting the count of emails i am using this uh, i will get the same result by using the string as well it is uh, extracting the uh, part of the string substring is also one of the string function which extracts the part of the string of string so to confirm i am say copy and paste the data in so this is by using the right function substring comma email comma what we need to search here say we are searching for care at character at symbol and email address so i am copying the whole thing here substring will take three arguments first is expression and second one is integer and third one also integer so i carry this also we will get the integer comma one <coughs> Closing the bracket from inlet. I am taking here Lena female. Sorry, Lena female. Lena female. Yeah. So this is the way to extract the domain name. So it is there. I am giving the minus one from. See here. So we are getting the do do domain name by using the substring function. Substring is taking the three argument. One is the expression, nothing but email, and I am searching for char uh, uh, char at symbol in the Mm. in email address and i am adding one character if you uh, remove this can this plus one combination so in the domain name address it also included that's why i'm including the plus one and i'm taking the argument uh, the len of email is the th third argument of the substring so this is the as i'm giving the alias domain name domain name is the alias name so if you run the query 
this is the email this is the domain name for this also we, we, we want to know the count of the domain names we are using the same as like what we did in the write function so i am taking the same count in the alias name here and um, after that i am grouping by group by i am taking the entire substring after group by paste here now if you run this and i, I am also doing the order by d and des order by des see 289 clarification i'm taking the key with header paste it in here so for, these are the email address by using the write function and these are the email address by using the substring function so, so this is where you, you need to extract the domain name address so for this i used substring and write functions first you need to extract the domain name domain names afterwards uh, afterwards we use a distinct keyword the distinct distinct key uh, distinct class to get the distinct domain names and a count function to get the um, number of emails number of e emails having same domain name but by this way you can extract the distinct and the count of emails of the minor thanks for watching the video thank you very much